this is what I'm doing today. Um, I know it's really like dramatic and whatnot, but you can always adjust it to your own liking if it's too much for you. The first base that I'm going to use is NYX or NYX eyeshadow base, the white one. And the next thing I'm going to do is cut the grease, because obviously a cut crease. And I'm just using a dark brown pencil. Then I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with a Q-tip. First eyeshadow I'm using is Max Aquadisiac with my Sonia Kashuk small eyeshadow brush. Just putting it to the inner corners. And the second eyeshadow is Max Jewel Blue. Same brush. And then I'm just going to pack it on to the rest. Like, fill it in. Just pack it on. So starting with the crease colors, the first one I'm going to use is this one. This one is Makeup Forever's 161. And a small angle brush. I'm going to outline, or I guess put it over the pencil first. And then sort of blend it out. And then going back with my eyeshadow brush, I'm going to still use the red-brown and then just add it more and blend it up towards the brown. With the same eyeshadow brush, I'm now going to use a darker brown. This is matte. This is Makeup Forever's 160. Right where the line was drawn, that's where I'm going to put it. Just sort of darken it and intensify a little bit more. And for the highlight, I'm going to use Max Goldenrod Eyeshadow. This is a pro eyeshadow, so you can only get it at a pro store. And Sonia Kashuk's Small Angled Brush. And then just pack it on. This, this part is a bit of a process because to get it this intensity, i pack it on, pack it on, pack it on, put it over and over. So I've already done my brows and that helps sort of clean up the yellow highlight and helps it look like it's a little bit more blended in. And next, the liquid liner. I'm using Urban Decay's Perversion. For the bottom, I'm using Makeup Forever 6K coal pencil and it's just a black with gold flecks in it if you can see and of course I'm setting it with some black to the bottom outer corners I'm using the darkest eyeshadow in my mermaid palette just smudging it in and then going back with the jewel blue, smudge that in as well.
And to the inner corners, this is Max Glitter Liner in Girl Groove. I'm just going to use that sort of like a base. Just cover it up with the Aquadisiac. For the lashes, I'm using Creme number 5. I got these from downtown LA. For my face, if you can see, there's some like gold, like glow to it. I have, here's another, here's another sneak peek. I have possession of OCC's Tinted Moisturizers. So brand new, they don't have labels, so not out yet. So I mixed these two to make my own color, and with it I mixed in some of Makeup Forever's Metal Powder number 3. And that's just giving like... I don't know if you can see, there's just a gold, like a golden glow all over. I really, really like that. Um, no blush. All I'd used underneath, like my powder foundation, was NARS South Beach. I guess it's called a multi-stick or something like that. I don't know, it's multi-purpose, so I use that. And just for a little extra, like, golden highlight, I'm going to use the same Makeup Forever powder. And add it here. For the lips, I'm using Sarah Geller's City Lights, so that's it. Um, yeah. Nice and, uh, clowny. Just the way I like it. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye!